Tonight in the first game of the best of three GLSCL semifinal here at Bob Wren, Southern Ohio Copperheads found out that Hamilton was better than your average Joes. Brent Suter, the GLSCL Pitcher of the Year, pitched a fantastic seven and two-thirds innings, giving up two runs. Copperheads catcher Matt Hitt says how Suter is so effective. You know, he'll come after you and he throws fastball. He's got good movement on it. He's real quick to the plate. It's real deceiving. He gets his front foot down. You think it's coming, and then it snaps in there right at the end. So he's real good. He keeps you off balance. The Snakes countered with Danny Gifford out of the bullpen. Gifford talks about his potent mechanics. My changeup and slider were really key for me tonight. Um, fastball, I had a lot of velocity on it, so you know everything was working for me. Southern Ohio mustered seven hits to the Joes' 11, but couldn't string enough together to add runs. Brian Barnes, Seth Strike, and Spencer Payne had two hits each. Payne explains how he connected with Suter's stuff. On those two at-bats, um, he started me off with some off-speed. I laid off him, because I usually, I usually try to see those, take those in the beginning of that bat. Yeah. And then when he, he left fastball over the plate, I took advantage of it. After a 6-2 loss, it's do or die time for the Cheds on the road. They are capable of winning, and Gifford says how they will recover. I just keep playing our game. I mean, played our right tonight, not, yeah. not our best, but uh, that pitcher was good, so we're not going to let that happen two games in a row, so we should be all right. Reporting for the Copperheads, I'm Maddie Kuhn.